Hello, this is Matt Keyes, and we're here looking at my WP Nav Plus plugin for WordPress. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create a divided menu uh, using my plugin. Uh, so on the left side of the screen here, uh, we have our demo environment, and I've created a divided menu to show you what I'm talking about. Um, this is something that you've probably seen many times across the internet, uh, but it can be really difficult to do uh, in WordPress. And that is where we have our top nav, but right in the middle of it, we have the logo element. So the trick is, how do we get a logo in between these items? Uh, I've seen people try to do this using multiple menus, but that can be very difficult to maintain. Uh, and I've seen people do some hackery with some CSS, uh, but it's kind of error prone um, and not very pretty, to be honest. Uh, so I looked at you know how I could solve this problem with WPNAV Plus, and I think I have a great solution, and I'd like to show you how I'm doing it here. So looking at our widget screen, uh, we're looking at a widgetized area for the header navigation, and that's what's outputting this right now. Uh, specifically, we're looking at our WP Nav Plus widget. And if I look into the divided menu options, you'll see what I've done here. Uh, we have the divider HTML, which is the image for my logo, uh, wrapped up in a, a tag, uh, so that when you click it, it takes you to my home page. And when you uh, when you put HTML in here, uh, WP Nav Plus will automatically try to put it into the center of your menu. Uh, in this case, we had an even number of menu items, so it worked out very nicely. We have two on each side. Um, if you have an uneven number of menu items uh, and it doesn't put your HTML exactly where you want it, uh, that's where we have this divider offset option. So we can change this. Uh, if we put a positive number in here, it'll move it down the DOM or to the right. And if we put a negative number in here, it will move it the other way. It'll move it to the left. And zero is the middle, or if it's an uneven number, as close to the middle as we can get it. So using these options, you can easily create a divided menu. Um, if you leave this blank, I'll show you what happens. The divider's gone, it outputs the menu like normal. So this is using the widget. Uh, there's another way to do this, uh, a way that I prefer personally as a developer, um, that is to do it right in the template. Uh, so I'd like to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to get rid of the dynamic sidebar. Uh, so all that's gone now. And I'm going to bring back some code I commented out earlier. Uh, so this is using the WP Nav menu. Uh, so this is the same WordPress function that you'd use anytime you're working with the WordPress menu system. Although what's unique is that uh, WP Nav Plus adds additional arguments uh, to this function. Uh, and specifically here we've added the divider HTML argument. And I'm passing in a variable with that same block of HTML we just used in the widget. So it's basically a link to my logo. And when we save this and reload our page, there we have our logo. And you can use the same divider offset that we used in the widget. If we pass this a positive number, it'll move that logo to the right. So that's all there is to it. Uh, you can use WP Nav Plus to create divided menus like this in minutes. Uh, stick around and check out my other videos here. Uh, WP Nav Plus will also help you uh, create split menus uh, to accomplish something like we have here with this uh, sidebar sub navigation um, and also let you limit and offset uh, your menu to create columns uh, like we did here in the footer. Thank you very much for watching.